Hey guys, long overdue, but it's back. It's time for some news. So we've got a load of things to recap on that have gone down recently. And we've got loads of things in the pipeline that are coming up that we'll touch on this week. And we've got some updates of some little projects that have been on the go that we hinted about quite a while ago. We're almost halfway through the year. We're getting on for halfway through the year. So as you know, when we do the news, we like to recap on some of the things that have gone on just to put a different perspective on them. Tell you about some things that we've got coming up and I think we're way overdue an update on quite a few special projects that we started at the beginning of the year. Isn't it nice just to have just us two for once? Yeah, instead, instead of, of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. He's making sure he's, he's still in on it. Don't, don't. You can see his bald head right over there. We can't help with a shine on that, can you? Yeah. Old shiny dome. So, I believe you've been doing another tutorial. Yeah, yeah, I'm back on it. Rob's allowed me back on it for now until I upset him, pretty much. Well, he, yeah. he, he reckons you've only got three followers anyway. Yeah. Yeah, his what? mum. Your mum. And like his mum. Uh oh! Richard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Keep my mum out of it. So, I've got um, the forearms coming out. Um, yeah, the forearm. There. That's the forearm. Hello, oh, you've been working out. <laughs> yeah, the forearm um, tutorial is coming out uh, probably next midweek. Week after will be the knee, which is very, both of them are very interesting actually, because I've got a couple of facts coming your way. And I bet a lot of you are itching to see the helmet build. So keep, keep, um, keep tuned in and you'll see that soon. What's about you, lover? So did So did you watch my first spin? <laughs> <laughs> so how was, what was your first unboxing? Was it the Razor Crest? The Razor Crest, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. I told him you going to keep that Yeah. Um, <coughs> Working studio. <laughs> yeah, so I, en I enjoyed the Razor Crest. It's yeah, it's my first spin off. Yeah, so that's, imagine when we were kids, we had the Millennium, Millennium Falcon, which was Millennium Debenhams. <laughs> 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 we had the Manel. <laughs> we had the Millelli. <laughs> we had the X-wing fighter, and um, that you know they were detailed then. But now the Razor Quest, it looks like a proper, well, yeah, studio scale model. I mean, you remember having the um, Rebel troop carrier that you could bottle yeah, your yeah, figures yeah, in. Yeah. I bet and if they made that like, now, though, it'd be like a studio scale. It probably would be. It'd yeah, probably yeah, be massive. Yeah. Really yeah, so, game at that. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Good little video. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, what was the other one I did last? Oh, yeah, you did um, Cody and Rex. Cody and Rex, yeah. Cody and, Rex, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the, the, the tunnel <laughs> that is Hot Toys, the dark yeah, tunnel yeah. that people fall down, and oh, I fell down it. Yeah. I've got a couple. Well, I, I've, got, I've got a few, a few more to do. Mm. Um, I bet you have. We've got a... Yeah. What was the next one? Oh, the, oh yeah, the books. Oh, okay. Books is coming next. And then a, a, a couple more in the pipeline with stuff that is yet to be delivered. Yeah, yeah. so... So, so Celebration, yeah. one, we're going, I'm going out on the 21st. Yeah. It's, not, it's the 26th till the 29th, I think. Mm. And on 21st to fly out. Yeah. 22nd, we've got a day sort of mooching around. Mm. And on the 23rd, it's my birthday. Really? We're going to be in Disneyland. Oh my Stood God. Stood there in front of a falcon. Are you going to meet up with Mr. Shudlick in Disneyland? I am indeed, oh, yes. Nice yes. Excellent, excellent. And a few, you, a, few, a few of the German guys. Yeah. And up to see a few of you out there. Oh, excellent. So if you see me out at Celebration, come and say hello. Uh, I'll be doing some vlog, vlogs while I'm out there. And uh, we'll be putting something together when I get back. Very so nice. yeah, looking forward nice. to it. What? Are you doing an internal exam? Yeah. Paul, bend over. Bend over, oh. Paul. <laughs> now I'm doing some weathering, <clears throat> so. 
let's talk a little bit about... Yeah. I haven't got any rodents in here yet. Oh, man. Did you actually fart through that? Oh, it smells like your boyfriend, Paul. Well, I like your mum's fingers. <laughs> Brian Mill's birthday last week. Yes, Brian Mill's birthday last week. Um, you weren't here yesterday, but I know you wanted to wish him a happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Brian. Sorry we couldn't be there. Um, hopefully we're going to catch up soon now. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, yeah. Um, that was that was talked about a little bit. Obviously, we ran it past Lindsay before we did the announcement, what with the age and everything, but amazing milestone. Yeah. Amazing milestone and looking really well for it, it is, as well. He is looking well, yeah, yeah. Looking really well. Anyway, that brings us to something else as well. The Jeremy Bullock Estate Auction is oh, happening right. in a few weeks' time. Okay. Um, I was having a little look at it last night, some of the very, very interesting things that are on there. Right. Um, so we'll put links below if you want to check out the auction. Um, I believe it's supporting Parkinson's as well. Right. So some of the proceeds or all the proceeds or, or, or whatever from the auction going to Parkinson's um, charity, which is amazing. Um, there's a lot of 501st stuff in there, so it's nice to see that the charity thing is, is just perpetuating, even in this situation. We have a very special visitor joining us next week. Mm. Probably we'll make a video and put that out the week after. Um, stay tuned for that, could be interesting. Could be a fucking bin fire, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? That's all coming up on the amazing RS channel. Okay, quick one we need to talk about, recasting. Uh, what it's all about, um, it's rearing its ugly head again. Yep. Seems a little bit pre prevalent, I can almost say that word. Seems a little prevalent at the moment. Um, we've got, I mean, we're, we're a small outfit. I think some people think we're some huge outfit with a massive HR section or something and Nobody talks to each other. Um, but a very well-known recaster ordered some stuff the other week uh, from us. Not even trying to hide the fact that they're, they're trying to buy this stuff now. Um, so clearly that's not going to happen. We're onto it and we weren't born yesterday. Um, but the dangers of recasting. We, oh, we've got another... We've got, I think we've got some other guys now in Europe, I presume because of Brexit, they think that it's opened the door for them to start recasting. Um, but I think the Brexit issue we've pretty much dealt with now. We had some teething problems, but we're now managing to get stuff into Europe without any additional customs charges because we're sorting it all out this end. Um, so hopefully that's gone away and that's going to knock that on the head really because recasting damages us and it stops us wanting to do things like your builds yeah. with the tutorial on building a scout it makes us not want to sell kits if people are going to just recast yeah. the stuff yeah. yes so it, it's damaging in that front but also it stops us being able to invest in future projects the recasters don't the recasters will take other people's work oh. make a quick buck on it um, the quality and the Honesty and the, res the responsibility of these people is questionable. Let's not forget that. It, this hobby used to be a really shady place. People would um, do a run of something, take a, take a load of payments for it, then just disappear off yeah. the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it still happens. It was happening 15 years ago. It's still happening now. Yeah. But maybe people are too used to us being around and not doing that. Yeah, yeah, we're there for you. That we're giving the, the recasters confidence. So, yeah, yeah. well, recasting is um, someone basically just gets hold of somebody else's work, armour, sculpture, whatever it may be, makes a, another copy of it and then starts selling it, usually undercutting the people who originally made it. Um, they don't put the time, love and effort into the piece and they don't have the same respect for the end product. Um, I suppose is, is the best way to recap it in a nutshell. Yeah. But it is going on at the moment. We've got some crazy guy who just thinks, oh yeah, I'll just order yeah. this kit stuff and they'll send it me. 
because they don't they're so big they don't realize what's going on but we're not actually we're, we're, we're a small team that big. And we're a family and we all it, it, converse and we all know what's going on and everybody talks to each other um, and we are part of the community and that's it, this is a community based um, hobby and we are very much part of that community and have been for getting, getting on for 20 years now oh well soon be dead <laughs> so um, yeah just wanted to touch on that little recasting issue that we've got going on and just to reassure people if you're in Europe and you are concerned about custom charges and all of that jazz we think we've got that pretty much under control now there might be a couple of weird weird situations where we can't pay all the duties and the customs beforehand but I think most countries have got it all mm, nailed yeah, down yeah, now yeah. certainly mainland Europe's yeah. mainland Europe's actually yeah. easier now to ship to yeah. than it was yeah. six or eight months ago yeah it was very stressful and it? it's been an absolute nightmare yeah, yeah. It's the craziest idea ever I'm still a European at art okay so Hall of Fame we've not done the Hall of Fame for a good few weeks now because we've been busy because Clark has been um, selfish enough to have another baby and um, well that's pretty much really yeah, yeah. the reason it's all down to Clarky really that we've not been able to do it so we totally blame selfish. him but <laughs> however Clark is back and so is this month's Hall of Fame yeah I was uh, looking over his shoulder this morning and um, I, I, I caught a couple of them. He was look, looking for a couple of the Hall of Famers, and they're looking good as well. Well, we picked. We're not. We're not because we're having to squeeze it into this month's yeah. news. We just pick one out that we love, and I think you're going to like it. Okay, this month's Hall of Fame, or this time's, this month, this month's Hall of Fame is Christian. So check out these, he didn't even send one image, he sent a few images, um, a f a quite a lot of them we like, but we picked this one out of all the images, just because, perfect little picture. Mm. Very cool. I like the one with the open top face, you need to do the sound effect for his, for his growl. I'll do that, yeah. Go on, you try one. Do you like that? Yeah. yeah. Ah! So that's what we've been up to. That's what's been going down. However, what's coming up for next time and in the coming weeks? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so next time we are announcing a brand new Signature Edition helmet. So do stay tuned for that. I'm not going to give any clues or talk about it any further until next week. So come back, check that out. Beginning of the year, we teased on some projects that we were working on. We're still working on those, and we usually when we when we do well, usually when we do this, we only work on one, don't we? And it just yeah, it just goes yeah. through the process. Currently, we are working on what, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven um, different projects, and in this situation, we are waiting for. As they all sort of snail along, we're waiting for one to come out as a front runner. It's not quite happened yet, but I think one is about to emerge as a front runner. But we will be updating on all of those projects we hinted about a few months ago, give you an update on where they are at, and um, I think you're going to like it. Um, so <laughs> we've got a couple of events coming up this month, haven't we? Simon's off to celebration. I can't go to celebrations. Apologies. Um, to everyone who's going, that I won't be able to come and meet you. Yeah, well. I'm very upset that I can't go to celebration, but my um, boy is finishing high school, he's got his exams going on, and he definitely needs the support. So, I, I can't go. Simon, luckily, is going. Very jealous. Um, so, I look forward to seeing everybody's videos. Get posting stuff online. Let me live vicariously through you. The first one um, we got coming up is Blackburn, isn't it? Other of it, yes. It then we got, we've got one back end of May, we'll talk about that yeah. when we get closer yeah. to the event. But 
upcoming event, mm. one of our favourites. Mm. Well, it used to be at Burnley, Burnley Football Club, didn't it? It's yeah. moved over to Blackburn. Yeah, maybe because so. it's bigger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Upcoming events, beginning of May, we will be attending the Star Wars Fan Fun Day, organised by my good friend here, Neil. That's right. So, can you tell us any more about the event that's going to get me excited? Yeah, um, as you know, we've been doing this for 15 years now, mm -hmm. except for the last two years because of COVID, we haven't been able to do one. So, we're very excited to be able to do one again. And we're at a new venue. We're at Blackburn Rovers instead of uh, Burnley FC. Okay. We're still doing exactly the same format. So, on the 7th, which I understand is your birthday, we're still doing dinner with the Star Wars stars, and then the day after on the 8th, when we're all on Gover, yeah. um, will be the Star Wars Fan Fun Day. We've got some great guests, 17. We, um, we, tr we, we aimed at 12 and put out a lot of offers, thinking, you know, some will say yes, and nearly everybody said yes, so we ended up with 17 uh, guests this time. It is a good event. It's not like when you go to a convention and it's you know, like a big Comic Con and there's some Star Wars people there. This is all this is all based on Star Wars and it's people who don't go to that type of event. They're people who, they are families, that's that's the thing. And there's the little kids there and to see them and they're looking at the, the characters and obviously meeting the um, original actors, but they're looking at all the characters and all the Star Wars toys and they're just taking it all in and it's looking at them that makes it a fun event for me. Yeah. You, I mean, you've, you've, you've really hit the nail on the head there. We put a lot of time into what may appear to happen by accident. Everything you've just said, we want the right people there signing autographs. Well, there is always a good turnout and there's always that atmosphere. And it's, for the guys costuming, it's a really good event because when you go to the big conventions, chances are they've all seen it before whereas with your event they they're the younger kids coming in and they're always amazed and astounded and that's it's a really good event for for wearing the costume and you know for enjoying and for taking in all of that it, it is a much more intimate event than most conventions um and and it's got to have that family feel for me um because star wars is a generational thing it's enjoyed by everybody you know, old codgers like me and you, yeah. down to, you know, young kids. Taking our kids to see it when... Uh... But, well, thanks for dropping in. Thanks uh, for having me. We can't wait to attend the event in, what, a couple of weeks, is it now? It, it's just over two weeks, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'm looking forward to it, and um, I can't wait to meet some of the guests you've got there. Thanks for your support, as always, and no uh, look forward to seeing you there. Paul? Playing right. with the boys. Paul, Sorry. get Clarky over here and we'll drag him down on there. Say what? Get Clarky over here and we'll drag him down and we'll say, yeah, congratulations. Right, do a sign-off. Just wrap it up just in case. Too late. Too late? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get in the middle. Get in the middle. <laughs> here he is. They like the two stooges. Oh, you slapped me, what a Pass it on. Oh, 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 Right, let's do the sign off then. Did he snap your watch? He's, he's so heavy handed, isn't he? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Look at you going all that. <laughs> Unzip that. Come on, let it out. <laughs> so, uh, quick, I'm come on, you. quickly, congratulate him. Congratulations, mate. Andrew's back. He's produced another um, child. The first one was a surprise to him. The second one was an even bigger <laughs> surprise. Um, I plan for any more? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to give me a kiss, though. That was nice. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first week back. I think you should do the goodbyes, the sign-off. Thanks for putting up with this shit setup. Oh, you <laughs> fucking... <laughs> What the fucking was that? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't great. It was what? <laughs> you like, you like that Snapchat filter?
place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Yeah. Come back next week when I definitely won't be sat here. And hit that bell. This one. <laughs> 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 oh. Ah!